Hey guys, Ultramaximus back with another television review. Uh, this time I want to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, they just reissued them. Uh, they, what, the toys came out about two months ago, I think. I, I still need to pick them up. I want to get the four turtles, at least, out of that series. And they look pretty good. A lot of people have done some videos on them, and I really want to check them out. Uh, but I, I just sat down and watched the first three episodes. Um, Turtles Rising, I think, was part one and two. Uh, of the pilot, and then there was the episode three was um, Turtle Temper, I think. So I just kind of want to talk about that and, and my my ideas and opinions of the revamp. And I'm gonna call them I'm gonna call them Nickelodeons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because I know they put the Nickelodeon name. They paid a lot of money uh, to revamp this, and, and there's so many incarnations of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, today. So yeah, um, you know it's not bad. I liked it. I was really, really kind of sketchy about it. I'm like, how well is this going to take? And I think they hit some really good points. One, the animation looks very good. It looks like something you'd see in Ice Age or something like that. Uh, maybe Shrek. I mean, it's really well done. But it's very, very interesting because, like, they do a lot of flashbacks and the final scenes. They kind of go to this comic book-like thing, which is very cool. It looks really nice. Uh makes for a nice breakup in the storytelling. And the other thing that's kind of interesting is... They do a lot of expression, like comic book manga expressions, like um, pound symbols and exclamation marks and squiggle lines and stuff like that pop off their head or their eyes will kind of switch and, and, and do the uh, kind of thing. And it's very reminiscent of the Teen Titans that was on Cartoon Network. I'd be interested to go back and look and see if there's any connection between those two companies uh, the two that the made the show. So that, that that's kind of interesting that they do that. Um, the opening theme is interesting. It kind of starts off with a, the original style theme song that breaks into a rap, but they do mention the secret of the ooze, which I thought was kind of interesting in it. And then they go back, they end up with, you know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles style theme again at the end of the intro. But, um, yeah, I mean, all in all, it's pretty good. What I really, really like, I like the characters, and I love the fact that they got the guy who did Raphael in the original 80s cartoon that I knew, and that was, like, the last of the cartoons that I watched as a kid. Um, he does the voice of Donatello, which, actually, I think he makes a better Donatello than he did Raphael. And all the voice actors are really good. They did a good job at the casting. Uh, Splinter sounds good. Shredder sounds pretty good. Um, the Krangs are interesting, uh, but I, I don't care for the design of Splinter. He looks like a kangaroo to me. He doesn't look like a rat. Um, I find it interesting. They go back to the, he was a human that gets mutated into a rat. Um, I do prefer that um, over, it's the rat, you know, gets turned into a big mutant rat and learns ninjutsu. Um, I like the Ninja Master becoming the rat. I think that's a lot cooler. Um, the cranes are interesting. They're basically, uh, was it Untans or Untas? Or, um, I can't remember the name of the from the old comic book. It's been years since I've read the comics. Uh, where they were little androids with the brain-like creature, which Krang in the uh, original cartoon was supposed to be one of those, but was a little, little different. Uh, they brought them back in the latest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, version where the Shredder was one of those, which was very weird. I didn't like that. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, they're okay. I like how they got the Android type stuff. They weren't bad guys in the old uh, comic books, but they are in this one. And I don't know what's going on with them. The, they haven't really told you, explained why they're there, what's going on. Uh, they're kind of funny the way they talk. It's very not right at all. They're You can tell they're alien, which is kind of funny. Uh, and they're the responsible for the ooze. So in this version, um, Splinter is coming out of a pet store. He runs into them, and he gets the ooze, and the turtles mutate. He turns a rat runs over his foot, and he turns into a rat, and that's how they become. Um, which okay, sure, whatever. And then there's a backstory of Shredder, who's I think going to be the next episode. Um, he looks pretty awesome, and their story is pretty much about the same. Uh, not much difference there. Of course, the next episode looks like his big henchman is Chuck Norris or something. I don't know. But he does have the old comic book uh, Shredder costume, uh, the henchman does, which is pretty cool. Um, he's got the Foot Clan logo, which is nice. 
April O'Neil as a kid. You know, I like it. It's not bad. Uh, she's not a reporter. She's just a kid, and her dad's a scientist and gets kidnapped uh, by the aliens. And sure, okay, that's a good plot device. We can do that. And I like how the turtles are kids. They're 15, and they act like it. It's like... It really reminds me of four variations of Beast Boys from uh, Teen Titans, uh, which is really, really cool. I mean, they're smart alecky, they're kids, they're goofy, they want to go out and explore and do stuff. Um, you know, and I like that. I, that's, that's missing out of the last generation of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So that's something they need to get back into, and, they, and they, they're doing it very, very well. Uh, they're kids. They, they've never seen the real world, and, and they play on that, and it's really, really cool. So all in all, I do like the show. I hope it does well. I can see it running three, maybe four seasons, and if they do that in a cartoon, I mean, that's successful. So yeah, very cool. It's, it goes back, I think, to the roots, and you see there's a lot of nods to the old original cartoon and a lot of nods to the comic books I've noticed in these episodes. But, um, and it seems like every episode there's a new mutant that's uh, popping around. Like in the first one at the end, this guy named Snake uh, mutates into basically a big weed, big, big negative weed. Which is funny because he, he gets the mutant genome and he turns into this plant monster thing. Where would he have touched the plants? I mean, he was in a parking lot, and I'm thinking, first flash thought in my head, did he have a bag of weed in his pocket or something? Is that why he turned into this giant weed monster? And uh, they end up calling him Snake Weed. And it's funny because Michelangelo is the one naming all these mutants they're fighting. You know, because his name was Snake, and he, and, he, and, he, and he turned into a big weed, so Snake Weed. And uh, I'm like, okay, sure, sure. And in the third episode... Um, Louis Black is, does a voice of a character, and he turns into a spider mutant, uh, which looks like the cross between the hamburger uh, helper logo guy and the Kool-Aid man. It just it looked really bad. It was like, oh, what is that? But I did like the character. Uh, he looked it looked like something Mega Man would fight. I don't know what the deal is with that, but he ends up calling him uh, Spider Bites or something. He's like, you know, because he's a spider and he bites. They're like, yeah, we get it. So apparently he's going to be the one that names all the mutants in the series. But all in all, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's it's pretty pretty well done. you got to get used to that manga-style um, flash of stuff. But it's a cartoon. I mean, look at the old Roadrunner cartoons. They do the same kind of thing. Bugs Bunny, that kind of stuff. And I think people forget about that. And it's not taking itself too seriously. It's definitely giving an homage to the old comics, to some of the old uh, incarnations. But it's new, it's fresh, it is fun, the humor in it I enjoy. I think it's pretty funny. I think it's a witty uh, cartoon. I think it's well written. So hopefully we'll see a few seasons out of it and get some really cool characters. And I hope the figures turn out a little bit better. The four turtles really, really look nice and the other characters look kind of limited. But I guess we'll see what happens. So I'll probably go out and buy some of those and check them out and probably do reviews on them because everybody else under the sun's done it too. So, uh, But thanks for watching, guys. There it is, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on Nickelodeon. Check it out. Very funny show. Um, very well done. And, yeah, sure, why not? Turtle power. <laughs>